It's like, might have to make that a little larger, but what I'm doing with these mounts is you can see the movement. It's not much, but it can rock in here. And before there was no give, so it just said, without them being perfectly aligned, uh, it bound and wouldn't let it rotate. And um, it's going to take work because I'm going to have to make a plate back here that will be a sill. So that way the bearing can't move in or otherwise when it's rotating, you know, that'll create problems. So this requires more work, but I have other parts I'm also working on. Well, with these parts, these here and here, they're going to be the catch and release mechanism. So the weight line will come through here, and when they release, it'll get pulled out and it'll just come off the tab. So that's it to hold the weight in place or the retraction line. I'm rebuilding these, which uh, I'm going to use these to start testing the wheel because I can just put this here, glue it on, and they'll be in so well, I should be able to go back to testing the wheel and have good rotation. I found out these were just dirty, so I'm gonna have to oil them, but these are industrial bearings, so they won't stay lubricated unless there's a uh, pressure. And then with weight, with the wheels for the weight wheel assemblies, I'll be able to grease this as well to create a seal so that way It'll keep stay lubricated, and I'm only going to be doing one weight wheel for now and get those on. And once I do that, I can go and test it for, for rotation and have it get it rotating like it did before. And with those, when when they're finished, I can put those on and they'll stay lubricated, and it'll be able to start moving forward to, towards getting it working.